Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of day analysis, Thursday, the 15th of September 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Uh, you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here in terms of uh, European markets. Certainly bamboozled this week in terms of market movements, certainly have been very uh, skittish, uh, very irrational, very volatile this week, and uh, mainly due to the US election, the market has been swayed by that. Obviously the Fed hike as well, up, down, down, up, etc. And uh, the actual moves themselves are almost 30 to 40 points on the S&P 500 alone. And the Nasdaq is almost moving uh, on a daily basis between 50 to 100 points. So it certainly is uh, proving to be very hard to uh, to actually uh, master these uh, or pinpoint these potential moves. Now, just give you an insight into the technicals of the European markets. And let's try and uh, understand what's happening there, especially given the fact that there is a divergence between the Euro stocks and the FTSE 100. Now, let me just bring up the FTSE 100 first and foremost. And uh, let's just certainly show you and you can see the, the bullish pattern towards the close on the FTSE 100 you can certainly see that uh, it wants to break out on this inverted head and shoulders formation okay up to potential gap fill which is at 6775 so realistically it's it's an impressive breakout here okay on the uh, FTSE itself uh, potential next resistance 6760 then 6780 potentially on the upside so the FTSE certainly remains bullish and the IHS formation certainly remains active as you can see here towards the close now, the FTSE itself hasn't been held by oil today. Uh, oil hit a pivot low of 43, although it has bounced slightly. Uh, now, Mr. Trump has just given his uh, speech, and it certainly is sounding very bearish for the markets. And it certainly will, of course, come concern, given the fact that he wants to uh, impose tariffs and uh, destroy uh, potential free trade. Okay, And that certainly isn't doesn't bode well for, for the U.S. economy uh, as a whole. Okay, In terms of the uh, FTSE 100, like I said, you've, you certainly had resistance. So the key resistance at 6,720, we certainly cracked through that towards the close. Okay, We certainly broke through it, and uh, it's quite an impressive thrust at that as well, Okay, as you can see here, folks certainly have broken through it pretty impressively in terms of the daily chart again it looks like we broke we were given the fact that we've broken that 6720 the next potential resistance now is 6800 provided we re remain below 600 6800 the ihs formation is still active uh, we do need to break past 600 800 in order to negate the uh, the hns neckline so just bear that in mind okay that certainly is something to consider as well in terms of the FTSE 100 okay now, the economic data, as we all know today, retail sales for the FTSE certainly came out slightly stronger than expected. And again, uh, the BOE subsequently did indicate potential further rate hikes. Although two individuals, if I can, if I can recollect correctly, Mr. Forbes and Mr. McCaffrey stated that there's no more need for QE. But they certainly kept sterling at bay, and that's, that certainly is has been helping the FTSE 100. Okay, Again, it will be... Uh, the owners will be on uh, Mr. Uh, Trump's speech now in the US as to which way the markets will go. OK, uh, for now, like I said, the FTSE itself uh, is resistance at 6720. Uh, and uh, we do need a concerted effort for the inverted head and shoulders on the 10 minute chart. Just, just bear that in mind. You have an IHS formation. Your pivot low is 6655. Uh, your neckline is 6715. So you're looking at around 6780 on the upside. OK, so certainly keep an eye out for that. OK, in terms of the German DAX, let's look at the German DAX now, folks. OK, daily chart. In terms of the European data, realistically, it was all about trade balance and CPI. CPI came in line, trade balance claim is slightly weaker. There wasn't anything in terms of Germany specifically, other than the fact, obviously, we had US data and retail sales. And basically, the data overall, industrial production, retail sales, all certainly came out on the weaker side. And thereby, obviously, uh, com certainly exerting pressure on the uh, the actual uh, equities, although the markets have interpreted that in a different way, i.e. weak data means rate cook, rate cut will not be coming, and therefore the uh, the market certainly will be under pressure. So, uh, so, so sorry, not under pressure, but some markets certainly start to rally. Uh, given the fact that the German DAX has, has been clinging on to gap fill all day, okay, um, now along with the Euro stocks, it really hasn't. I mean, there was a late rally towards the close. Other than that, it certainly has been weak. Whether we can attribute that to a weaker dollar and the euro moving higher, but the euro hasn't really moved as substantial. I mean, it's still in the 1.12 zone, 
Okay, so nothing really substantial, whether or not it's grease in the background. Certainly a lot of divergence between the um, the actual uh, German DAX and the uh, the actual NASDAQ as well. Certainly a massive uh, divergence between the two indices. So again, certainly European equities certainly lagging there. Okay, going over to the 60-minute chart, we certainly seem to be building a base around the 10340 zone. So it'll be interesting to see how the markets unfold. Okay, for now. Right. In terms of the uh, the actual uh, CAC, and let's bring up the French CAC for you. Okay, French CAC again, another index that was weak all day today. So again, not doesn't certainly bode well uh, going forward if the U.S. markets certainly fold overnight on the back of this Trump speech. But certainly remains weak. Okay, on the French CAC as well, certainly remaining weak. Daily chart, we did have support at the gap fill, so gap fill support certainly held on the French CAC. So that's certainly something to consider as well, folks. Keep an eye on the French CAC. Daily chart certainly into gap fill. 60-minute <clears throat> chart, French CAC certainly holding that gap level and certainly bouncing from there. Uh, again, we do need a concerted effort in terms of uh, confirmation of uh, support. Uh, we are into resistance now on the French CAC at this 4380 zone, and we'll see how the markets react at that level. Okay, last but not least is the weakest link of the day, really. It's the Euro stocks, folks. Uh, very surprised that the euro stocks failed to uh, rally all day daily chart you can see here holding gap fill holding double bottom and still failing to rally 60 minute chart no real uh, no real conviction either to be honest with you when we did rally there wasn't really any conviction at all again into that resistance zone around the 2970 zone okay 2970 zone on a uh, resistance and again, certainly uh, nothing stopping it from testing that 2940 zone again. So again, certainly remains uh, under pressure as well. OK, and again, it's all about Trump speech now towards the afternoon or towards the evening. Weaker data as well certainly isn't helping European equities, given the fact that the euro USD is staying afloat. OK, I think that's a good summation in terms of the markets. The FTSE 100 really is the most bullish out of the lot. Again, the IHS formation in play. So certainly keep an eye on that, even if we pull back to 6, 7, 10 but the bullish bias certainly remains okay folks on that note i wish you a good weekend be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that bonus goodbye now